Uh, they look pretty. They look so pretty. Aww. I look like the prettiest girl in the whole world. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Evie Nova and this is my lovely boyfriend Jed. Into the Mystery 13 is his channel. Check him out, the link is gonna be in the description down below. And today we are doing a video about relationships. More specifically, relationships while living in the van. Like pros and cons and just overall experience of it and um, what we've learned so far. This whole thing is new to me, living in the van with somebody else. Um, obviously, I've been in relationships before, but never living in such small space. So there's a lot of growth involved and learning, and it's amazing. So we decided to talk about it. We've been together for like four months, though. Yeah. And living in my van. Yeah. My little Astro van. Yeah, we've been together for about four months, living together pretty much since almost day one. Yeah. I think like day three, maybe. Yeah, we we'll, we went on our first little adventure on the second day. Yeah, on the second date, we drove all the way to the ocean and spent a whole day together. And ever since then, we've uh, been together. Mm -hmm. And I uh, moved in into his little Astro van, and we've been doing the whole van life. So it's been fun. Yeah, have you been having fun? Most of the time. <laughs> the hardest part for yeah. me is sleeping because I I need yeah. like nine to ten hours of sleep, and you only need like six to eight yeah if that it yeah seems. so you go to bed after me and wake up before me and half mm -hmm. the time you wake up it wakes me yeah. up so yeah. i don't get as much sleep as i need yeah so as often as i'd like that's definitely i think number one is the adjusting to the sleep schedule because you're sleeping in such a small space that especially if you're a light sleeper like jed any movement or noise will wake you up and for me since i don't need a lot of sleep i tend to wake up a lot earlier than him and every time I try to get off the bed the mattress moves the bed moves and it wakes him up so I'm um, I'm learning on how to get off the bed with as little movement and noise as possible and sometimes I do great when I get up and he doesn't wake up at all but most of the time he definitely wakes up so that's I'd definitely about half the time now half, yeah you've definitely yeah. been a lot yeah. more careful and I really appreciate yeah, that yeah that's definitely one of the things that I've learned is like living in the van and trying to be quiet when other person sleeps. Another thing that I um, learned while living in the van, with sleeping in other, is you spend, and it can be a pros and a cons, you get to spend a lot of time together. So living in the van and traveling or being stationary, you constantly together 24 seven. When living in the apartment or a house and living like a traditional, lifestyle, uh, especially if you have jobs, you know, you work and then if you have different schedules, you, you hardly get to see each other, but living in the van, you're constantly together. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing because you get to spend so much time together and you get to learn a lot more about each other and grow and yourself and, yourself and grow together and grow as a person. But at the same time, because you spend so much time together, there is more um, room for a little arguments or frustrations sometimes so it can be a pros and a con and we're definitely learning a lot about each other and how we can resolve conflict when conflict does happen um, it's definitely it's always going to be a growth process I guess well there's kind of there's kind of yeah. two different things that happen one is a small space like last night I was editing and you were thinking out loud yeah and every time you do that I'd think you were talking to me so I'd go and see and then I'd get distracted with what I'm trying to do and it was driving me crazy and then other times you get mad at me because you think I don't listen to you but you're always thinking out loud so it's like well does yeah. she want me to listen or what am I supposed to do I don't know but then there's other things like when you get into a romantic relationship it tends to bring out your deepest wounds you know and um, that's like one of the beautiful things about relationships that, that most people seem to like just blame the other person but really it's like hey this is a great opportunity to grow when you spend so much time with each other those things seem to uh, get brought up more and more and more yeah. you know so that, that can be a really good opportunity to grow yeah we're definitely growing a lot you know individually and as a couple and learning a lot about each other and ourselves I've definitely learned Mm -hmm. a lot about myself since we've started dating and since we moved in together in the van it's been constant growth for me for yeah, sure me yeah and uh we definitely because we're growing together and we're learning together it allows us a time to heal and 
kind of work on our flaws and just be better people in general, which well, is amazing. Personal growth is accelerated when you get into a relationship yeah. because those those types of relationships, and we're always attracted to people who, who mirror our deepest wounds, you know, and that's yeah. like always an opportunity to heal, you know, and to grow and uh, like move on or whatever. But when you're when you're in a small space with a person all the time, like that, yeah. that accelerates it even more. So we yeah. we've kind of taken the fast track to uh, personal evolution. Yeah, you know? and it's amazing. Another thing with living in the van, basically looking other is like finances. You know, if you keep your finances separate. And that's what we're doing for the most part is when you when you live in the van alone and you travel alone, all of you know, all the bills and all the expenses kind of fall on you. But when you live in the van with somebody else, you get to split those things. So like the gas, the food, um, you know, the car, the van insurance. And that's definitely a pro in my book because you get to spend less on those things, which means you have more money left over for doing amazing things together and exploring and adventuring and get to you get to do a lot more because you have a little bit more money that way mm -hmm. and I think that's amazing when I did my trip from Chicago to Portland in January you know it was expensive I mean I had my minivan that I traveled in and the gas can definitely uh, be expensive and a lot of times I stayed in motels because it was so cold outside so that trip, even though it only took me five days, ended up being very expensive. You know, if I had a jet with me for, you know, dating at that time, it would have been a lot cheaper. Half as much. Yeah, right? and it would have been a lot more fun. Well, we would have bought more food, but we split food a lot, we too. We split food a lot of times. Yeah. We just get... Cause the portions here in the U.S. are so big where I can never, ever finish them. So we always, we not always, but a lot of times we will get one portion and split it because it's definitely more than enough for me. Yeah, I usually end up with leftovers that I just throw out or put in my fridge yeah. and forget about. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, well, do you have anything to add? Pros and cons? I think the size of the van makes a big difference. I mean, we're living in the Astro now, but we got a much bigger van. We got a full-size Chevy that's extended, so it's really big. We're going to get a high top on it soon. Um, It'll definitely be a hell of a lot easier in the full size van. The Astro, I'm totally fine in by myself. Yeah. Not not an issue. A high top would be nice, but it's not necessary. Um, but with you, I mean, we could do it. Yeah. But it it would be so much more comfortable in the full size van, yeah. especially having our own rooms. You know, those times we have you know had disagreements, or usually it's just a miscommunication. Yeah. You know, we're not we're not communicating effectively. Um, you know, usually, you usually go out on walks and it's like people, people say that the van isn't big enough for two people when you get in a fight or whatever, but the whole world's our backyard. Yeah. You know, so you usually go on walks or if I get mad, I go on a walk, you know, so it's not like we're stuck in the van all the yeah. time, but for sleeping and for convenience, like in the Astro, if I need something, sometimes I need you to get out of the van yeah. so that I can find something, you know, it's just not yeah. very, uh, it's not very convenient yeah. at all. And kind of go off of like having fights in the van. What I've learned so far from living in the vet with Jed is when you know when you do have little arguments or frustrations with each other. Yes, I can always go on walks, but sometimes, you know, what if the weather is bad? You're kind of stuck in the van, so that could be that could be a con for living in the van as a couple. That there is not a lot of room. So when you do have little disagreements, there is nowhere to go to you kind of, you're forced to deal with it, which is also a good thing. You, you're forced to deal with it right there and then to get it over with and clear the air. So there could be both pros and cons at the same time. Mm -hmm. You're kind of forced to deal with your problems right away. I heard someone say that everything is amplified when you live in a van. I think it was Will Burson. And he said, uh, everything is amplified. So like if you have, if you're bad with money, you know, in an apartment, you're going to be worse yeah. in a van. If you're, if you have a bad relationship or bad communication skills or whatever it's going to be worse in a van you know if you if you have a really good relationship it's probably going to be better in a van because you're going to be yeah. spending more time with each other and doing more things that you both enjoy doing together yeah you know and facing uh facing challenges together and coming up with, coming up with solutions together which you know brings you closer together yeah so everything is kind of amplified a little more yeah. i like that yeah i think it's 
Hundred percent true. Yeah, might yeah. have been somebody else who said that. I think it's Wilbur. Yeah. I don't know. If that yeah. was you, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't give you credit for that. Yeah, what I've learned so far about myself while living with Jed in the van is that I'm not very good at communicating. And I don't know if it's because I come from a different culture or because of my uh, language barrier, because I do translate stuff from Russian to English a lot of times in my head. Because we live in such small space together, I'm growing a lot faster and we're learning from it a lot. And I think I'm getting better at communication, mm -hmm. but you definitely get to learn a lot about yourself, which is kind of nice. Although I'm pretty sure I already said that. <laughs> what else? It's gonna be more things. I don't know. I just ate three cheeseburgers and a bunch of fries. I'm kind of yeah. Uh, Another thing, while well, you know, when you live in the van with your partner and you travel, it's it's good because you have somebody there for support. You know, when you travel by yourself, you don't really have anybody there to talk to. You know, when you want to, or you know, if you need some advice or have some questions or just want some moral support, there's nobody right there next to you to do it. You can call your friends, but it's not the same. But when you travel with something other, you have somebody there all the time. So if you need some moral support, or you need some physical support, or you have some questions, there's always that person there next to you supporting you. Need to get laid. Yeah, I need to get laid. Or if you're afraid of going somewhere, doing something, you know, you have that other person supporting you, helping you through that, whatever, uh, whatever it might be. It was know, also so. such a good thing for me because I had so much anxiety, like, before I went out and that going out on my own and, you know, facing all these problems and all these challenges and figuring it out for myself made my confidence just whoosh, soar. My anxiety is not yeah. even close to what it used to be. Yeah. So. Maybe, like, 2% of what it used to be. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, traveling, whether whether you're alone or with somebody, is an amazing thing. And each way has its own pros and cons, I feel like. Yeah, when you're traveling by yourself, you definitely, you can, you're forced to deal with your anxiety and uh, your fears. But you, you can also face your anxiety and fears when you travel with somebody. It's just, you also have somebody that to support you and it might slow your progress with that because you're not like forced to deal with your fears you're right using there and someone then. else as a crutch <laughs> yeah. yeah um but sometimes having that crutch is a nice thing though what's on your pants i, I think it's mayonnaise is it i'm gonna say it's mayonnaise okay <laughs> let's hope it's mayonnaise <laughs> When you do decide to do van life and you're deciding to build your own van like we're doing Doing it with somebody else, such as your boyfriend, girlfriend, is, I feel like, a lot easier and faster process. Before I met Jed, I knew I was going to do van life, and I was in the process of looking to buy a van and uh, start building it. I already had plans for the build. I just needed to buy a van. And if I didn't meet Jed and start doing the build on my own, it would have taken me a lot longer to do it, and I would have made a lot more mistakes while doing it and I would be completely unsure if I'm even doing it correctly. But having somebody there definitely helped out a lot. Um, I'm learning a lot from Jet in regards to building a van. Um, and I've never built anything like that before, which is nice. It's been a good test for our relationship too, because it's hard yeah. building a van, it's hard working with someone, you know, sometimes. And uh, it's been a good test for like if, if we can build a van together then we can live in it together yeah. you know what I mean yeah so it's been good to do that with each other to kind of test it out see how we work together and we make it we found out we make a great team yeah. you know we still have areas we're working on but overall we make a great team yeah. you know like it was good to have that experience to um you know just make sure that it was going to work and make sure it was something we wanted to do because yeah. we're going to have to work as a team out on the road all the time you know when things come up or mm -hmm. when we run out of money you know it's not going to it's probably going to be us together trying to figure out how to make yeah. money together not uh going different different yeah. ways you know yeah you so, know spending this time team building here station in portland for this month and working together it's definitely it's been good because if we were to meet and start dating and then hit the road a week later together 
I don't know how that would have turned out. <laughs> I, t- I have no idea. <laughs> I think it would have been good with us, but yeah. that's after knowing yeah. what we know. You know, I yeah. would have been really hesitant to just meet some girl on the road and yeah. take her with me or whatever. It yeah. probably would have ended up in a train wreck. Yeah. Probably would not have ended well at all. No. Um, but having this time and building the event together and learning a lot about each other is definitely... It, helped a lot and now like I'm a hundred percent sure that this is gonna work on the road mm-hmm. yeah which is nice so if you have if you are doing van life or you're planning on it if you do meet somebody you know take your time <laughs> before hitting the road together like make sure you actually work together very well yeah as a team anyways I think that's it um, if you guys have like any other pros and cons or ideas or suggestions in regards to relationships in the Venet, please leave a comment down below and let us know or let everybody else know. I think it is an important topic to talk about in regards to van life and van veling, especially if you're a couple, you know. Van veling. Van veling. He always makes fun of my accent. It's cute. Always. I like it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna have a lot more like personal videos like that coming out. It's not gonna be just van built. There's gonna be a lot more to it. Also, don't forget to like, leave me a comment. Check out links down below. Jed's channel is gonna be in the description below along with um, the gear that I'm using to film this and some other cool links. Check out our Instagrams. He has an Instagram. I have an Instagram. Links down below as well. We, we also do photography, so we post some cool pictures on there. Yeah. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. You, you definitely get to be a lot closer when you live in such a small space in regards to everything. I mean, I've seen Jet pee in a bottle numerous times. I don't think I've never seen anybody do that before. And we've only been together for four months. Yeah. So in that regard, you're definitely kind of forced to be super close and open about things and not be shy when it comes to peeing in the bottles or farting in front of each other. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's fun. I do a lot of that. Yeah, <laughs> that's fun. It's going now. We're doing the video right now? Yeah, we are. Right now. Okay, what's it about? Okay. Hold on. I gotta do an intro first. It's out and open. You have to be a lot more open about it while living in the van, because it's right there. It's right in front of you, you know, just sitting there staring at you. Oh, the leaf blower. What are they blowing out there? <laughs>